For months, astronomers assured us three AI Atlas would be nothing more than a harmless spectacle, a brilliant flyby skimming past Mars before vanishing into the black. An interstellar visitor, nothing more. But the cosmos does not do harmless without reason. And now the James Webb Space Telescope, our most advanced eye in the void, has delivered data that flips the narrative upside down. The numbers have changed, the trajectory has shifted, and scientists are whispering the one thing no one wanted to hear. Three AI Atlas might hit Mars. This isn't just a comet. This is precision maneuvers, clock-like gas pulses, an object behaving less like a rock and more like a spacecraft. The deeper you look into the data, the clearer it becomes. Three AI Atlas is not drifting. It's steering, adjusting, targeting, and the red planet is directly in its path. Whatever this thing is, it's not done with our solar system. And if you're as captivated and unsettled as the scientists following this subscribe now, this story is only beginning, and what comes next could change everything we thought we knew. When 3AI Atlas was first spotted on July 1st, it looked like any other interstellar interloper, a fast-moving blur with a glowing coma, traveling at speeds never before recorded for an inbound object, nearly 87 kilometers relative to the Sun. At that speed, it crosses the Earth-Moon distance in under 80 minutes, but what stunned scientists wasn't its velocity. It was its behavior. Comets typically slow fragment or stabilize as they approach the inner system, but three AI Atlas began accelerating, subtly but consistently. Even more disturbing, its trajectory began tightening. Slight course corrections became evident. Its coma, the surrounding halo of gas and dust, doubled in brightness within weeks. Spectral analysis revealed intense spikes in ultraviolet energy and CO2 outgassing, at rates never seen before in any comet. It was acting less like a drifting chunk of frozen rock and more like a guided missile. And then Webb's deep field sensors caught something that changed everything. Rhythmic pulses coming from the tail. Not chaotic jets from sunlight melting ice, but deliberate thrusts in perfect 17-minute intervals. A pattern, a signal, a maneuver. As Webb, Gemini South and NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory continued tracking the object, the numbers began telling a terrifying story. What was once a near miss had become something far more dangerous. A revised impact distance of just 1.95 million kilometers from Mars, a hair's breadth on the cosmic scale. And worse still, simulations showed that even 10 kilometers of added velocity, a fraction of what's already being measured in those gas pulses, could be enough to shift its path into a direct hit. Think about that. Just a nudge, a whisper of thrust and Mars becomes ground zero. This level of control is unheard of in natural bodies. It's as if three AI Atlas is using its own outgassing as microthrusters, adjusting its approach like a spacecraft would. Even more disturbing, those thrusts are perfectly aligned with the planet's orbital plane. Scientists aren't just tracking an object anymore. They're watching it aim. And the window for impact keeps narrowing. It's no longer just amateur theorists or sci-fi enthusiasts sounding the alarm. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb and his team have published a paper proposing something bold. Three AI Atlas may be an engineered probe. The data backs them up. Radar bounces from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter and Goldstone antennas returned metallic echoes, not the soft, watery signatures of typical comets. Inside sources from NASA describe the radar reflections as unlike anything we've ever seen. Add to that the green needle-like streams seen in amateur high-exposure images, three glowing beams converging toward Mars, pulsing in sync with the exhaust vents, and the picture becomes undeniable. This object is not behaving naturally. Loeb suggests a scenario where three AI Atlas could be deliberately targeting Mars to crash, or worse, to deliver something. Probes, signals, spores, Whatever it is, it's not a coincidence. Mars is being approached with surgical intent, and humanity is caught watching an operation we barely understand unfold before our eyes. What happens if it hits? The answer is almost incomprehensible. With a mass estimated at 10 billion tons and a speed of 57 kilometers relative to Mars, an impact would unleash more than 2 million megatons of energy, thousands of times the most powerful nuclear detonation in Earth's history. The crater would be 60 kilometer wide, 5 kilometer deep, and would scatter debris across Mars' orbit, some of which could be ejected into interplanetary space. 
And yes, that means some of it could eventually reach Earth. But the consequences go far beyond just rock and dust. Mars is home to dozens of scientific assets, rovers, orbiters, experiments searching for life, climate records spanning decades. An impact wouldn't just destroy machines. It would erase decades of research, blind communication arrays and possibly ignite contamination events we are wholly unprepared for. Global space agencies have already initiated planetary defense discussions, not against an alien fleet, but against a single object behaving a little too much like a vehicle. For years, scientists have speculated that Mars once had life and perhaps still harbors it deep beneath its rusty surface, subsurface lakes, dormant microbes, ancient ecosystems locked beneath permafrost. It's one of the primary reasons we've sent so many rovers, orbiters and landers, but if three AI Atlas strikes, all of that becomes a biological unknown. The extreme heat of impact wouldn't just vaporize the surface. It would crack open the deeper layers of Martian crust, exposing reservoirs we've never reached. And if three AI Atlas carries organic molecules, or worse, synthetic biology embedded in its outgassing trails, the fusion of Earth-independent evolution with Martian biology could result in genetic contamination on a planetary scale. Some biologists call this panspermia in reverse, not life spreading from Mars to Earth, but life being seeded into Mars deliberately. It raises a terrifying question. What if the goal was never destruction? What if the object is a delivery system and Mars is the incubator? As 3AI Atlas approaches its closest point to Mars, the James Webb Telescope locks onto it for one final ultra-deep scan. The result is classified for 48 hours before a portion is released to the public. But leaks from within the Webb project tell a much darker story. Instruments detected traces of synthetic polymers, molecules that resemble Earth-made plastics and carbon nanotubes intermixed with natural gases. These aren't the kinds of structures that form in vacuum or during cometry heating. These are engineered materials. Webb's spectrographs also picked up persistent isotopic anomalies, notably in carbon and hydrogen, matching no known solar system object. In short, 3AI Atlas contains things that should not exist in space, and all of it is heading straight toward a planet that still might be alive. Emergency task forces are convened not because we can stop it, but because we're running out of time to figure out what it really is. And yet, as the countdown to impact ticks down, a deeper unease grows. Because maybe this isn't about a crash, maybe it's about a signal, a message, a ritual, a convergence. Mars may be the stage, but Earth, we are the audience. And we were never meant to be passive observers. We were always part of the design. The final impact may not leave a crater, but it has already begun to reshape what we thought we knew about Mars, about life, about ourselves. Because in the end, 3AI Atlas didn't come from Mars. It came for our attention. And now that it has it, we must ask, what happens next? Subscribe now, because what's coming isn't just another story. It's the kind of story that could rewrite everything.